right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Both fighters get up now. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Three minutes. To that punch right there is a point compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. DC didn't take him long to find. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his oh. hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout, Schneider! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very... Oh, yeah. That's how champions train. Awesome combo. That's what we want. Thirty seconds. Great job in there. Beautiful kicks with high volume. Nobody can stop. Guard or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly. Right. Posturing his body all the way to the top and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great grounding pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting 
out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Magnifico. And now is his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Fighting out of Munich, Germany, Schneider. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, ready to go for round one. He has won his last three fights. We'll see if he can extend the winning streak to four. He has been nothing if not dominant every step of the way during this streak. So no denying what is at stake for this young man tonight. First order of business, though, taking care of what is an obvious challenge in front of him here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go with round one. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to set up a takedown here early and ultimately get to some of those ground strikes. He's definitely wanting to get on the shot. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Both fighters get up now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! fight it landed flush i'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming and before he could recover the referee was in to stop the fight so a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight all right let's get you some replays now certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Schneider! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout.